let's say that you've got a blood vessel here and it's a longish blood vessel and we'll give it a resistance of eight and it has three branches let's say two big ones and kind of a tiny one in the middle and this goes straight across and this has a resistance of 10 and these biggish ones they have resistance of let's say half that so they're about five and on this side they all come together again and enter a short vessel this has a resistance of three so my question to you is what is the total resistance of blood going in here and out here so it's going to have to go through this eight bit and then it has three choices here 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 or here but eventually they all come together again into that three bit and then exit out the other side so what is the total resistance so what is RT for this? That's the question. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide into two parts. Part one, I'm going to figure out in part one what the resistance is for this part right in here. So I can do that using an equation I introduced in the last video, which was you can basically take RT, which is total resistance for that yellow box, equals 1 over 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 5. And I can look at that and tell you the common denominator is going to be 10, right? For all three. And here in the numerator, I've got 2, 1, and 2. So putting it all together, I've got 1 over, what is that, 5 over 10? And that equals 10 over 5 which equals two. So that tells me that the resistance in this middle yellow box is two. And that makes sense with our rule because we said that when things are in parallel, the total resistance is gonna be less than any component. And in fact, two is less than five, 10, and five, right? It's less than any of those numbers uh, individually. So we've got now in part two, we have three things in series, right? We basically have something like this. We have eight, and we have two, and we have three. So we've got basically three things in a series, and so we simply add those up. So I'm gonna say RT now equals eight plus two plus three, and so RT equals 13. So if I want to know what is my total RT, my total resistance, I would say it is 13. So that's the answer to this problem. And what I want to get you thinking about is total resistance for the body, the human body, which has obviously more than you know just a few vessels uh, like I have in this diagram. You have literally thousands and thousands of vessels.